Welcome to our body weight hip class. No equipment necessary for today's workout. You can add things in there if you'd like to incorporate a step or a hassock or a coffee table. You can do that. If you have hand weights and you want to increase the intensity, you can do that. But this is no equipment necessary, so you don't need it. All right, see what you've got available to you and let's work with what we've got. Let's get ready to warm up.
one, warming up. Four more. Three, two, turn all ten toes to the front, squat it way back. Press it back, weight is in the heels. We've got it. All ten toes are right here, down and up. Up. And up we have four, up three, and up two, and up. Turn all ten toes to the front. Inhale up, exhale, hold it all the way over. Let that head hang. Walk your hands over to your right ankle. Walk it through the center, walk it over to the left ankle. Back to the center. Soften the knees right into the right hip. Left hand to the left hip. Stand it up. Good. Awesome. Inhale up. Exhale down. Grab a quick sip of water. Big sips of air. And let's get started. Okay, guys. Our first move is a prisoner squat jumping jack. If you have one of these handy dandy little bands, you can place that on your ankles. Not necessary, but if you've got some equipment, Use it for sure, okay? So our first move will look like this. I'll show you the front and side view. And it is going to be hands behind the head. We're gonna jump it in, stand it up, sit it back, out, in, up, down. Out, in, up, down. So, that being said, let's get ready. We have 50 seconds. Start with the feet narrow. We're gonna jump it out, in, and stand it up. Here we go. Stand it up, hip thrust. Keep your chest forward. Don't look down. Look forward. Watch me. Okay, and exhale on the effort. I'm gonna show you the side view. Out, in, up, down. Get really low. Five seconds. Good, rest. If you have a band around your ankle, get rid of it. We're going to start out with a plyo lunge. We're going to dip it down and stand it up. Okay, left leg stays forward. Otherwise, jump. Jump it to a lunge, jump it together. When you jump it together, I want you to pretty much come to the toes. Work the calves, ha. Stand it, same leg. Left leg forward. Get it down. If your right knee is tapping down, don't bounce it. Still use control. Down and up. Doing good. Get low. Rest. Awesome. We're going to step through that. We are going to take it down. Walk it out. Give me that push up and walk it back in. Don't come up, just walk it out. Push up, press up, walk it in. Awesome. Great. Good. 
good. Enjoy that break. All right, we have our lunge on the other side. Time our right leg is forward. Dip it down and stand it up. Okay? If you're not jumping, maybe go a little faster. Otherwise, jump it out and together. Get low. My front thigh is pretty much parallel to the ground. Okay? Breathe. You got it. How are we in? Rest. Beautiful job. Awesome. Okay, we're taking it to plank. So Take it down to plank. You're going to jump it in and back. In and back. Side to side. Have your shoulders over your wrist. If you don't like the hop, you can step it one leg at a time. In, in, back, back. In, in, back, back. Otherwise, hop it with me. You've got it. Exhale. Inhale when you come back to plank. Exhale when you jump those knees. Try to stay strong in the shoulders. Okay, press into your hands. Don't sink in the shoulders every time. We have 10 seconds left. What do you got? Maybe double time. Rest. Beautiful. Awesome job. A little break. Okay, we're taking it into a hip thrust. So, pause for a second to explain that. Option on our back, we know that one, right? Otherwise, we're gonna keep our left leg down. We're coming into a little table with one leg up. And we're tapping the butt down and press into that left heel and squeeze up. Okay, lots of options here. Okay, lots of options, meaning you can also do both legs or here. Okay, that's the other option. You can also take a weight to your hip. So many options, okay? I'm gonna stay right here, right leg is lifted, and up. Exhale, exhale, press into that left heel and get those hips up as high as you can. Keep doing the hip thrust, okay? Rest. Awesome. Keep feeling that glute. Okay, we're gonna take it to a squat with a leg lift. So we're gonna take it down. Squat, left leg lift, squat jump. Squat, lift, squat, jump, squat. Get it up there. 
there. Exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale on that left. Got it. 10 seconds. Finish strong. Press in to that right heel. Feel that right glute on fire. Rest. Up through that squat. Right leg is going to come out. So we're going to take it to a squat jump, squat leg lift. Let's go. Halfway. 
lunge together. Get way back here in that lunge. Way back. Build some tension. Time and attention. Hold. Come up. Hold. Good. Rest. Awesome. We're going to go to the back. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it in. Here we go. Walk it out. Push up belly to the ground. Walk it in. Don't stand it up. Just keep going. Keep your chest and hips facing your mat the whole time. Don't rock and roll. Just do a squat. 
If you want something in between, just squat and come up onto the toes. You don't have to leave the ground. But I want you to, I want you to try at least once. Rest. Good, we're down again. Take it to that hip thrust. Right leg stays, left leg is up. Remember, you can always take it here also. Okay, let's go. Two. 
Four. Tire run to Vada, 20 seconds. You can do 
anything for 20 seconds. Tire run, we're gonna take it wide, and we're gonna take it wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Keep the knees up, okay? That's our tire run. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you're gonna go for 20 seconds. If you just wanna step it out and in, you can do that as well, okay? I want you to go. I want you to finish strong. Really get the most out of your workout for the day. You're doing awesome. If you've stuck with me this long, you're doing awesome. You should be feeling great. So, here we go with that. Our next move that we're gonna alternate it with, we're gonna take it to a squat with a kick in the front. Same leg, it's gonna be the left leg. So, we're squatting and kicking, and I'll show you how to pump it up. We'll do the next leg the next round. All right, with that being said, let's start those tire runs. 20 seconds, okay, 20 seconds of work. Get ready, here we go. Let's go, out, out, and in. I want you to pick it up. I want you to go pretty fast. Get those knees up if you can, okay? And I'm on my toes. That way I can bounce faster. Right? I can get more out of my movement because I'm jumping up. As soon as my foot touches the ground, I'm coming back in. Relax. Yeah, 10 seconds. 10 seconds to rest. Next move is that squat, left leg kicks. Squat, left leg kicks. If you can, got a little hop. You can reach right hand to the left toe. Good, rest. Back to those runs. Let's pull it down. Let's pull it down. 
Exhale. Go ahead and take a sip of water if you need to. You can pause the video. If not, inhale it up. Lace those fingers. Grow. Exhale. Out. Awesome. Taking it nice and wide. And then we're going to turn the toes out. Just take a little plie down and up for five, four, three, two, hold it here, get a little stretch, bring those thumbs to the inside of the knees, drop that right shoulder, look over the left, press the knees back, exhale, inhale through the center, exhale, drop the left shoulder, Relax your jaw. Come back to the center. Stand it up, toe heel it in. Good. We're going to take it, left leg forward, right leg back. And just come up onto that back toe. And then drop your back knee, slight pelvic tilt, and take it a little lower. So you feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Inhale up. Exhale, lace the hands behind you. Lift your heart, lift your knuckles. Good. Release it. Straighten out that back leg and step it in halfway. Shift your weight back, flex your front foot. You can rest your hand on the thigh of your leg that is bent. Push your tailbone way back there, pull these toes in. Slide your foot in, hands on both thighs. Little tiny cat cow, round and press back. And again, round, pull everything in, round your shoulders, press back. Two more, up and back. One more, up and back. And roll it all the way up, shoulders come up, back and down. Up, back and down again. Forward two times. Good, get some mobility in there, shake it out. Awesome. Right leg is forward, left leg is back up on that toe. Hips lined up with the edge of your mat. Drop your back knee, slightly tuck that pelvis and maybe take it down a little lower. You're doing that hip flexor. Inhale it up here. Exhale, grab opposite elbow behind you. And then go ahead and inhale it up. And exhale, arms down. Straighten up that back knee. Shift your weight back, flex your front foot. Push back with the hips. Good. Slight micro bend in this straight leg, of course. Slide it in, hands on your thighs. Roll it up, shoulders lift up, back and down. One more time, back and down. Twice, go to the front. And then we're just gonna go ahead and inhale up, drop the right hand down, stretching through your triceps. Inhale up, drop the left hand down. Both arms up, take them down. Take that right arm across the chest, gently pull it in. Get that shoulder, open it up. Other arm, left arm across, gently pull that shoulder in. Good. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, fold over. Just rest your head. Don't let there be tension behind your neck. Let that head hang. You can even bring your hands behind your head. Let those elbows kind of flap out. If that feels good, keep a slight bend in your knees if you need to to kind of absorb any impact. And then go ahead and bring the hands down in front of you. Take the right hand to the right hip, left hand to the left hip, stand it up, press into your feet, drop the shoulders. One last big inhale up. Big exhale, press it away. And we are all set. I will see you soon. Have a great day.